Hello everyone, and welcome back to Alan Wake. My name is Unicorn Trekkie, and if you missed part one, we pretty much fought our nightmares. Alan Wake had a big nightmare that was trying to kill us in our dreams. It was pretty scary. Um, now let's move along. Continue game. Saves by checkpoints. I should have known. That's okay, Alan. Let's act like we're on vacation. We could do this. Go stand again. next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Absolutely. And this way we can see the deer Hi. again. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife, if you don't mind me saying. Thank I'm you. Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. I hope so, too. Thank you. Ah. The water's nice. Fresh seafood. Oh, something smoking over there. It's a very cute town. Hi, wife. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. I oh, know. Yeah? A yeah. hey, bestseller? How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. We left you. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Look, there's a deer. He's cute. All right, I remember last time. This is the car. I thought, I thought it was that one over there. <laughs> and why not? Come on, Slowpoke. You get the full service here. I've made all the arrangements. Right. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. We promise. We'll behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God! I am your uh, biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. 
and to wow. keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. <laughs> Sand girl. Oh. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. I'd rather have creamer in my coffee, thank you. Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't uh, believe right. it. I'm having so a conversation with vacation. Alan Wake. Wow, she's she's a big fan. You must be a great Are you writer. on your own, or is your wife with you? I can show you the town if you want. I get uh, off work at six. No. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad <laughs> circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust Coconut. me. Let's do Call it. yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, <laughs> don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. Did it play? Yes, that's my favorite tune. Coconut! Shut your mouth, you demented <laughs> ass bin. If I, I like had my it. hammer, I'd shut it for you. Jeez. <gasps> Can I take this? Think. Thank you. Tune mm. number six mm -hmm. in the jukebox, Children of the Elder God. Now there's a song for you. Um, hello, lady. Are you okay? Oh, she doesn't like the hallway. I want to look at the rest of the diner first before I look. Ah, table. Before I look. It look does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You <laughs> need <laughs> to <laughs> give it a good solid whack. Yeah, I don't know about you. I'm a married man. Don't look at me like that. Okay, hallway it is. This place is cute. Aw. I like I like little diners like this where they have like the history photos in them. You get to know the town better. Hi, lady. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Over yeah. her fans always did. Well, can you give me the light? You have a lantern, can I have it? I guess not. It's in there. Nothing. Whoa. Creepy, creepy. Is he in the men's room? Hello? Mr. Stucky? No. <gasps> Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. I don't know about you. Uh, you looked a lot creepier before. I mean... Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Are you in mourning? Did somebody die? You're like, all dressed in black. Is there a funeral? No, we don't go in the... I didn't mean to do that. We don't I'm so go happy this could be arranged. Uh, thanks, lady. Creepy, creepy. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really yeah. ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. 
Uh, okay. Station has no lights. Thank you. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> <laughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. I, I like these guys. They're my favorite. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that's them up there. That'd be cute if it was. Okay. The Andersons. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Okay. Thank you for telling me. I didn't ask, but good to know. Bye, Mr. Wake. Uh huh. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Oh, flashlights. We need those. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your. your keys! <gasps> Stucky! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> what keys did we get? Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman oh, no. here on PBF Heaven. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It's pretty dark out here, but they'll light your... I knew that lady was up to no good. That wow. feeling. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. <coughs> and I've got the flashlight. Excuse me. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. <gasps> oh yeah, let's do that. She's afraid. Come on, Alice. Let's go. Oh! Hi, bird. Lots of birds. Isn't it like a bad omen if if there's just a ton of ravens? Are these ravens? Just just going around everywhere. Bird leg cabin. <gasps> Makes sense, you judge of birds. Why am I not carrying the bag? Alan Wake. Rude. Ooh, this is so pretty though. I like it. Okay. Here we Hi, go. Honey. Let's take a look inside. But there's stuff. Why can't I like take a look at the stuff? What? Examine. Examine? Where was the it where was the exam? I just saw the button. Oh no, I asked the button. Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> the island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Aww. That was worth it. That was sweet. 
Come on, honey. Get the door open so we can get a look inside. I will. I will, but do I have time? Will it just get dark? Or can I do this? Let me do this. What's in here? Can I take a peek a peek? <gasps> peek a peek. Generator? Mm hmm. Yeah? <gasps> generator. It's on. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Start. Oh, I love those little things. Let there be light that you want. Yes. As we learned in part one, light is on. life. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Checkpoint reached. Hmm. I'm gonna remember that for next time. Checkpoints. Checkpoints. Hello. <gasps> Can we get a boat? That'd be cool. So pretty. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Is it haunted? Is it secrets? I want to go there. Okay, let's go back to Alice. See what's up. Oh, cute. Wait, what is that? What's that say? G, B? G and B? Or is that E and B? That's so cute. Okay, get ready for creepies. Alice? Honey? <laughs> Where'd she go? Return to Alice. One day I will figure out what these services are for. Do I have an inventory? No, oh, that's the main menu. It's the main menu too. Okay. Well, I'll turn that on in a minute. Is she upstairs? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. <sighs> this game, you know, I need to stop asking questions because this game just answers all my questions. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's turn this on first. Your best guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phones. Caller, you're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Well, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wade, oh. wasn't it? Uh. My favorite writer. Well, Rose, I... I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I 
I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM. And now it's the music. Oh, right. you so butthead. Whatever. Alan, I'm trying to take a vacation. Up, I'm waiting. Surprise! Alice? Ooh. What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey! <gasps> just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No! It's not like that! That's not- Alan? Alan? I don't! Just don't! I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. What? <sighs> there was a face. Excuse me again. Alice? Alice? Alice! The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice, I'm coming! You're all right, I'm coming! No! Alice! What the hell? Oh no! from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, Stuckies. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode there. Um, I'm out of time for today, but that, uh, yeah, next, um, yeah, that was intense. Well, join me next time, and we will find and hopefully save Alice. I, I have no clue, but I hope so. That was surprising. Okay. Well, hope you all have a great day, and um, thank you for joining me and uh, Mr. Wake here on this cute little story break, uh, sort of. <laughs> all right, see you next time. Bye.